straight-hitting agenda. It is comprised of three major areas. Agendas together, one after the other, one, two, and three, that will take care of three of the more difficult things to do in hitting. First of all, we're going to have Agenda 1, which are read drills. Many times when we'd have players who were struggling with their hitting, and we'd sit down with them and we'd say, what do you think is wrong? And we'd always usually get the answer, Coach, I'm not seeing the ball well. So we've done a lot of things to help hitters to see the ball better. This has to take precedence over everything else, that you're reading your pitches, you're seeing them well, and you have an idea of how you're going to handle each pitch within the framework of the strike zone. Now we have five agendas here which we will be demonstrating for you but first I would like to explain each one in some detail. First of all there is what we call the loose body action which is full tape. One of the sayings we have for that is it is great to be excited to hit but it is not so great to be an excited hitter. So what we want our hitter to do in this case to be able to get up at home plate gain some confidence by every time he puts his back foot into the batter's box he self talks he tells himself I'm gonna rip the ball confidence is a major factor 100 percent confidence is needed to be the kind of hitter that you want to be so full take loose body is just having everything fall apart basically what we're doing there is standing tall in a soft body Stride take is another way to take the pitch. In stride take, we're going to give away the stride to the pitch. We will stride when the pitcher throws the ball. So in striding when the pitcher throws the ball, we're going to commit our stride in the same place with it directly ahead, and we're going to stride only at release. The stride Take is a take that we would use if the pitch were an obvious ball. It was an easy. It would be an easy pitch to read. Number three would be drive take, and in drive take, we want to give away not only our stride, but we're going to give away our pivot. So we're going to load, stride, and pivot. And even though we're pivoting, we're still going to take the pitch. We'll take the pitch. In, a, in what we call our AB stage, where we commit hips, we commit the pivot, but we still do not commit the hands. ABC comes in uh, our number four, which will allow us then to really work on what we call the three criticals. And I'll just try to put this over here in the light. The three criticals, as they come out on your poster, number three, number four, and number five, completion of stride, drive action, contact. So if you go back, if we were to take our stride take, we would take the pitch at this point. If we were to do our drive take, we would take it at this point. So we're going to call this A, B, and C. In other words, we're going to cross-reference these three steps. So not only are there steps three, four, and five, but now we're going to make them A, B, and C. And the reason why we do that is, is obvious. In order to be the best hitter that we can be, we must learn to train our hips and discipline our hands. And in order to do that, ABC drills and AB drills are gonna will be a